enjoyed the little montage that I had um, in the beginning of this I definitely had a lot of fun like making that and editing it because it really was like a two-day vlog <laughs> pretty much just smushed down but what had happened was that um, one day it snowed like really bad like for I live in Tennessee we don't get any snow hardly and so the it had been raining for like a week, couple weeks or something and then it all it got really cold really fast so all that rain froze over and then on top of that it snowed like four inches overnight which is really crazy for Tennessee and then so I couldn't go to work that the day after that because like all I live in the middle of nowhere so all around me it was like crazy iced over um like we don't ever get snow so people don't come and plow the streets like that's not a thing that happens here just because we don't get enough snow for that to be necessary so when it does snow we really do get put out for a while because the skinny little back grows that twist and turn and get all icy and no one's there to like clean it up so i couldn't go to work i also live 40 minutes away from work so i wasn't about to like try to make it there you know what i mean so i didn't go to work that one day then i had two days off in a row right after that so it was a three-day weekend and then I went back to work because it got warmer and everything melted enough for me to get to work. Like the roads around me were still bad, but closer on to work, they were fine. So I went to work for one day and then that night it snowed again and it literally like snowed. I closed. So I was at work pretty late. It snowed as soon as I got off work, it started snowing. So I had to drive 40 minutes in the snow and like it wasn't bad close to work. But when I got closer to home, uh, the snow had started setting on the road and I was trying to you know, make it home safe and stuff. So that was kind of crazy. And then today, um, I woke up and I couldn't go to work. It was, it snowed way more than they said it would. It snowed like another four inches. And I couldn't go to work because, um, there's snow all over the roads. And then, so tomorrow, hopefully I can go into work. Anyways, anyways, so basically <laughs> that whole rant was the last, like the little montage that you just saw was like, what I did for those snow days and like all this time that I've had off pretty much and um, I read some books um, I got an article done for the gaystoner.com filmed this video and then a lot of it was really relaxing just because I couldn't go outside I couldn't do anything so I was just staying inside so it was a lot of like cuddling my cat um, I had some tea and just got a lot of writing and reading done and just kind of relaxed like it was just really chill so that's why I wanted to make uh, the little montage and just maybe relax you guys if you guys haven't had a relaxing day. 
so all that aside, what I'm doing right now is in the last update video, if you watched the one that I just posted on Monday, um, I said that I wanted more goals to set for researching the novel concept because as it stands, like, there's not really a goal, there's not really a way to track how much progress I'm making, so I'm just kind of researching without any direction to go. So I, I was trying to think of goals that I could put for researching. So I was trying to set a goal for how much knowledge to gain in like a week and that's just really a hard thing to decipher and a hard thing to actually keep track of. So I was really struggling with how can I make goals for researching a novel concept and then I thought like a different way instead of like trying to track my knowledge just track the ways that I'm learning and hopefully the knowledge will follow. So that's what we're doing right now is setting those goals. So I got my pen and paper so I can write this down. Um, I'm going to break it into two categories because the novel that I'm researching for is a historically accurate novel like so like um, it has to be like factually accurate about the not like about the history of it and then like a lifestyle piece that goes along with it and I'm mixing this in together so I have to research the uh, the facts the history and then I kind of have to research like the lifestyle and everything that happened at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and write those categories down and then I'm going to set goals for each kind. Alright, so I have the uh, the history and then the lifestyle and I'm going to come up with things to do for each one of those that I could do every single week. And one of those is to watch a documentary or some kind of educational film. And I'm going to allow myself to re-watch one. So if I watch a documentary three months later, I could watch the same one. I think it, it's still going to count just... That's just going to help me, like, get the information ingrained into me better. And I think I'm going to have a hard time trying to find a new documentary to watch every single week. So for uh, the history, watch one documentary or one educational video um, about this per week. And the lifestyle, now this is where it's getting hard. Because I can, you know, read a book every week or watch this or take notes on this. But to learn a lifestyle, that's kind of difficult, so... Ooh, I guess I could still read and watch stuff about this kind of lifestyle. So let's say, um, read one chapter a week in a book that I have that's actually about this lifestyle. lifestyle. So I have a book um, that's kind of got this mixed into it. So I'm going to read one chapter a week of that. And if I feel like once I get into the book that it doesn't coincide with what I'm trying to achieve, I'll pick a different book because I do have a few. So for the lifestyle, read one chapter of a book that is about that lifestyle. And then another one I want to do for the history is, um, let's see, I kind of want to involve like taking notes or actually recording stuff or I'm not going to remember it. So I think, ooh, how about memorize five facts about this event? That's a good one. All right. So every week I want to memorize five facts about the event that's going to take place in my novel. Alright, and the other task I want to do every week, I'm just going to keep it to two each because these are things that I'm going to continuously do every single week, like a goal that I'm going to achieve every week, not just for the duration of the researching the novel. But um, the one for lifestyle is listen to one album that is... Um, specific to that time period and more specifically than that is one kind of involved with the movement that I'm going to be writing about and I'm being kind of vague but to give you guys a little bit more info information I'm writing about something that actually happened um at a specific place in time and then I'm gonna write about that but also write about the lifestyle involved in that so I really want to put myself in that time period so that's why I'm trying to research also the lifestyle so I want to listen to one album um, that's accurate to that time period. And another goal I kind of want to set for myself, um, this is also in, in addition to writing one submission for thegaystoner.com. But one more thing that I want to do uh, every single week is, or actually every single day, is just write down what I need to get done that day because otherwise it's not going to happen. So those are my goals uh, to learn kind of more history about the event and also kind of get myself into the lifestyle of these people at that time. So yeah, those are my goals. Um, I hope you enjoy watching this video. I definitely had a lot of fun making it. And um, yeah, I, was, um, I guess like 
if you're working on something, what are your goals for it? Uh, let me know in the comments below what you're working on and how you get progress done for that goal. But yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed. Hopefully I could go to work tomorrow. Hopefully it's not too snowy. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay motivated, stay inspired, and stay happy. See you guys. <laughs>